Hey y'all, um, I came up with this uh, last week and I'm just dying to show it to you. If you like nachos, this is kind of like nachos but different. Sometimes, you know, it gets tired, you can only, you know, I mean, you can only eat nachos so much, right? Pretty much every day, I agree, but if you're looking for something to change it up or looking to try something good, this is uh, chili and cheese chips. And uh, what we're going to need is I've got some uh, chili there, obviously, some uh, Carol Shelby chili that I made the other day on that video. And then I have uh, some cheddar cheese, sour cream, two potatoes. I'll make a small order here. And uh, I got this slicer. And we're going to use this. I, I'm using this instead of my uh, food processor just because I know these are cheap. So I want anybody to be able to make this. And I know there's a lot of guys out there who might not have a lot of kitchen stuff. But this is going to be one they're going to want to try. And, of course, some jalapenos. So... Um, let me get uh, let me get this stuff moved out of my way and get the potatoes. I'll show you how I do those. And of course, you're going to need a deep fryer um, set at I don't know 360 or so, as hot as it'll go. Um, but let me get some things set up, and I'll bring you back and show you what I do, uh, how I cut them potatoes up. All right, this step is just uh, manual labor. It's not uh, anything you have to think about. But uh, when you're cutting potatoes, you cut it, you turn it over, obviously, so you're not grating it. You want to use this uh, thinnest thing here and uh, just run it back and forth on it. And it really doesn't matter if the uh, potatoes pile up or how that works. Just um, slice them up. Use this. Be very careful you don't uh, take off your fingertips. That's what I'm always worried about. But anyways, you see, you get this. But it doesn't, like I said, you don't have to worry about separating them or whatever. I'll show you how we fry them up and make it, make it a good deal. But uh, just slice these potatoes up thin the hand slicer and uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me do it I don't want to hear you, you to hear me breathing hard but um anyways let me get this these potatoes sliced up and then I'll, I'll bring you back and show you what we do next all right we got the uh, deep fryer warmed up now we're just gonna take some of these potatoes there's two potatoes so it's about half and half be careful it's not water and oil hot oil don't mix too well but um, they've been sitting on the cutting board so they dried out a little bit. But again, you just want to lay them in there. Kind of shake them in there. But they're not going to... I mean, you'll just see. you have to watch. But... Uh, Cooking all that oil and water out of there. Anyways, um, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch potatoes fry, but... When, uh, when they get done, I'll bring them back and we'll put these things together. I think you're going to like them. One quick thing I did want to show you. I'm going to try to do it over the shoulder here. It, it uh, You reach in there, you can flip these kind of potato, I don't know, loaf kind of a thing. That's all right. It's going to work out real nice for us. So, get in there and flip them around so you can get them good and crisp. That's the way you want them. That's the way I like them anyhow, but that's what you want to do. Crisp them up. All right, now when I get done, I'll bring it back. All right, I like to put this together when everything's hot because it helps the cheese melt, and that's almost better. So, let's throw these chips in here. Oops. Liz is going to get some potato chips. She'll like that. As long as they don't knock over the camera coming to get it. And then, how's that looking? Then you don't want to, well, you, you know, make it any way you want. I don't want to overload it with the chili. I just want to put a little chili out there so you can scoop some up, you know? I like Sloppy Joe's that way, too. I like them on buns, but I like them just as well with uh, some good potato chips. So, got that. The uh, jalapenos I have uh, diced up a little bit, so I'll spread those on there. That's what I'm saying, you know. It's just a different base, a potato base instead of uh, a corn-based chip. And I've sliced up some tomatoes, because I like tomatoes. Anything I can get them on, that's what I like to do. Sorry about reaching in front of you like that, but... And then, let's put a little cheese on it. What do you think? Because you know cheese always makes everything better. And chili and cheese on top of that, I mean, the words go together, you know? It just sounds like that should be a word right out of the gate. Chili cheese, you know? But... Spread that on there. Huh? Look at that, would you? Alrighty. 
And of course, a little sour cream on her. Again, you know, after you pile all this stuff on there, you it's not a nacho chip, it's a real thin chip, so yeah, that's gonna be good. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is let that rest for a few minutes just because like I said, I want that cheese to warm up and melt and uh when we get ready to give it a taste test, I'll bring you back. All right, let's give these a shot. Gotta reach in there. Get a little of that, get a little of that. Boy, that's good. As promised. Hmm. A little chili on there. Grab a little of that. Mmm. Mmm. Parents said don't talk with your mouth full. It's a little tough. Folks, let me tell you. You got to give it a shot. It's easy. The hardest thing is slicing up the potatoes and that won't kill you. Might even do you some good. But um, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.